Shalom. This is the brother Durak from the Detroit camp. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, who rule well, and who has the 100% truth. This is for the hope for the elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth, that mingle within the other nations that may look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Yahweh. He is, He exists. The name of His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is whom we are waiting for the coming these last days. And with that being said, it's going to be a quick lesson. In which I woke up in the spirit of the scriptures that I'm getting ready to give to you. Okay. Starting first with Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Now, I say this, or rather, read this in the Holy Scriptures. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side, because you Jays out there are still practicing the things of the heathens, the customs of the heathen, and you proclaim to be into the truth, into following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh side, but you're still doing the things that are of the heathen. Okay, so with that, start with uh, the book of. The, Prophet Jeremiah 7 and 16. Okay. Because you just who claim to know the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. You know, again, because you're still connected to the customs of the wicked who continually push out idolatry. Okay. Prophet Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry nor a prayer for them. Neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. And just like the weeping prophet Jeremiah, who was titled just because he cared about his people to the point of pleading with them so that they wouldn't be destroyed by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because of their sins. Prophet Jeremiah 7.16 in the New Living Translation. Pray no more for these people, Jeremiah. Do not weep or pray for them. And don't beg me to help them, for I will not listen to you. Okay? This is why the prophet Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet, because he pleaded for his people. Okay? But he found out this, those people didn't care about the message. They wanted to continue to do their idolatry, to sin against the heavenly father, Yahweh, by some Yahweh. So, and also they scoffed him and did things to him. Okay? That's why he was called the weeping prophet. Okay. Jeremiah 7 and 17. See, seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They were doing a lot of things at that time that went against the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and refused to repent of them. Therefore, the Most High Yahweh told Prophet Jeremiah to not to pray for them. Jeremiah 7, 18 and 20. 18 through 20. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire. And the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Said the Most High Yahweh. Do they not prov provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? That was the judgment. Okay. That was the scattering. The diaspora, that was their judgment. Therefore, thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Power, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man, and upon beasts, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and shall not be quenched. With that being said, their judgment have been set, because they did not want to leave off from their wicked ways, worshiping idols. Just like the day in Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom in Egypt, also known as America. 
You chicks are still doing this today. And you men having feminine spirits on you when you celebrate this as well. And what am I, what am I talking about? I'm talking about birthdays, okay? And things of the like, okay? Jeremiah 7 and 18. The children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Okay? So you're doing this and you claim to be a follower of our Lord and Savior Jehovah's side. You don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Romans 10, 2 to 3. For I bear them record that they have a zeal for the Most High Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of the Most High Yahweh. Okay, because you don't believe in our Lord and Savior Yahweh, and the Most High Yahweh is not dealing with you, okay? He's not dealing with you. St. John 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Okay? My sheep hear my voice, and know them, and they follow me. Okay? And with that being said, you will be judged on this side when our Lord and Savior Yahweh comes to wreak havoc and destruction on Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom in Egypt, a.k.a. America. Okay? 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. So let's look at that word. Infeminate. Nor effeminate represents you, Jake's, celebrating your birthdays. This is the spirit that the woman I am, that the woman I am, okay? And you are in that same spirit, effeminate, objective, derogatory, okay? But then this is in the dictionary with reference to a man having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally associated with women and regarded as inappropriate for a man. John is depicted as an effeminate young man with, with flowing hair and delicate hands. That's just an example, okay? So with that being read, remember this. When your judgment comes from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, okay? Remember that. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infeminate, nor abuses of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. So when you do these things, you will be judged because you transgressed the laws that were set up to keep us holy, which means separated from the customs of the heathen nations. Okay? And this leads to death as it is written in the Holy Scriptures, Romans 6 and 21. What fruit? Had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed. For the end of those things is death. We once celebrated birthdays and other festivities that are, against, that are against our customs, which separates us from the heathen nations, such as birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, okay? But when Yahweh Bahasim, Yahweh Shah Bahasim, Rukaku Das opened us up to the truth. We left off those things. We left them off those things, okay? All those pagan holidays and all of these things. We left off from them, okay? Romans 6, 22 and 23. But now being made free from sin and become servants to the Most High Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the Most High Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Lord. Okay? The point is, by doing this, there will be judgment because we sinned against the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by transgressing the law. Okay? 
1 John 3, 4 through 6. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abided in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither known him. So if you're still doing this and proclaim to know the Heavenly Father, your high by sin, your homicide, then you are a liar and a hypocrite and will suffer judgment from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh 1st John 3 to 6 in the NLT the New Living Translation anyone who continues to live in him will not sin but anyone who keeps on sinning does not know him or understand who he is because of what? Romans 10 2 and 3 and because of what? that's just a rhetorical question Romans 10 Two to three. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High Yahweh. Isaiah 30, 20 to 21. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Starting first with the elders and apostles of great millstone, the teachers on down, and like-minded counts, teaching the same 100% truth of the Holy Scriptures, under the tutelage of GMS, teaching and preaching on the highways and hedges and the chief places of concourse, Telling you this is the way. Okay? That's submitting yourself unto the righteous counsel of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Because remember, the Most High Yahweh revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Okay? Proverbs 1 5 through 7. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb, and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Most High Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay? And with that, the water to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to bring this out. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great Mills who rule well. And with that, Shalom.